there. So we're working on our adorable little dinosaur. Um, and if you weren't with us last month for the bear, I'm gonna show you again how to put in the crocheted arms. So these are nice because you can put them in while you're stitching. Here I've stuffed the arms and I'm going to show you how to do another one. Um, what I've done is I've finished the part of the instruction after attaching this arm and I've single crocheted my eight stitches and I'm ready for the position of the other arm. And just to give you some perspective, there's this cute little tail. Now I've completed my arm and I've stuffed it. When you're stuffing a piece that's going to be flattened, you want to only add it to the bottom piece because you want to be able to flatten it without the stuffing getting in the way here. So here we go, I flatten my piece and I like to keep the tail to the one side. And you can see here the stitches um, come in pairs. So they line up quite nicely like this and that's what we're going to use when we're crocheting. So to crochet in the arm, I'm going to insert my hook through both layers of the flattened arm. And then I'm going to insert my hook into um, the body piece. I'm going to loop my yarn around the hook, draw through all three of the loops, then loop around the yarn around the hook again, and pull through, and that is a single crochet. So basically what you're doing is you're inserting your hook through three thicknesses of fabric, but then treating them as one thickness of fabric. So that's my second one. And because the final round of this arm had 12 stitches, you're going to do this. Let me just make sure, see, I'm looking here. Um, I've already used up this stitch, so I wanna make sure I'm not using up um, a stitch twice. Uh, your stitch count would be off. Um, so since I had 12 stitches, I'm dividing that in half because I've folded the arm in half, and I'm going to be doing that for six stitches as is instructed in the pattern. So, and it can be tricky. Um, one thing you might wanna do if you're having trouble getting all six is put a locking stitch marker, like one of these guys, in uh, the starting stitch and the final stitch, that can help you out. Um, so here I'm down to the last two stitches and that can be kind of tricky to get the last two. So you just, it's okay to use your fingernail or some other device to make sure you're getting those last two stitches. And here we go. And now I'm just going to single crochet as usual to finish the round. And that's a really lovely technique. We've done it for the feet as well. Um, you can see that they, um, they sit differently than a piece that's been attached in an open way, but it's a really fun look and when you're done, you have a finished and attached piece and you don't have to do your attaching.